Another area being highlighted on our tropical map this evening. Remember, this is a seven day outlook from the Hurricane Center, and they are painting this kind of large swath. Nothing particular there at the moment, but both the GFS and the Euro in kind of the long range runs, picking up on maybe some little feature moving toward Florida, maybe getting into the Gulf as we head toward Thursday, Friday of next week, but a lot of time to watch for any of that potential. What we are really watching, though, is for the possible development development of something in the Bay of Campeche or Southwestern Gulf. That something isn't even there now. What we're likely going to see is this little area that is in the Eastern Pacific move northward over Mexico and eventually try and organize in the Bay. Now, this has been something well advertised by models over the last five plus days. They've been hinting at something trying to get going down there. Exactly what that something is has still yet to be determined. Again, there's nothing there right now. Now, what we will likely see is some kind of broad low pressure center with that will start drawing moisture toward it as it gets better organized. And what that does for us with this surge of tropical moisture headed our way beginning tomorrow and continuing into Monday by Tuesday. Note the bulk of that rain is now moving a little bit more to our west and will continue to move west into Mexico, Texas. And then after that, we may be looking at some little feature that tries to move in our direction. Per the Euro, it's just a rainmaker. GFS actually doesn't even have that feature getting into the Gulf. But again, that's the end of next week. We're in hurricane season, folks. We're under clear skies outside now. Visibility's fine. But matter of fact, it's very humid. A dew point 71, so it still feels like 90 degrees. 85 is our current reading temperature wise at Kenner. Still 88 at lakefront. The high humidity it keeps our temperatures from really cooling down very rapidly and dew points are in the 70s, so 70s is about as low as we will get. And there is still a little bit of a heat index outside, not dramatic, but just a sign that in the summer months it still feels like the 90s even after 10 o'clock at night. High pressure is what has kept us hot yesterday and today, allowing for records to be tied as this high settles off along the Carolinas over Georgia as well. That begins the setup to bring in that tropical moisture, so this will start the motion of that moisture in our direction. It'll continue into Monday by two Tuesday, though, it starts actually building a little bit more back over us. And what that should start doing, coupled with the development of some tropical uh, tropical system, it will begin taking that moisture away from us. So we will then begin to see a drying trend in the next couple of days, though, ample moisture in place. And what that means is any showers that develop will have the potential of being very efficient rainmakers. So we could easily see several inches of rainfall in a very short period of time. By Tuesday through Thursday, that starts to uh, change as the upper high builds a little bit more over us. And that system in the Gulf tries to draw the moisture toward itself. They kind of take all the moisture around. As we had, this is through uh, Thursday. By Friday, we may see a little feature try and move in our direction. We will just have to wait and see. As far as rainfall totals go, this is kind of the, the final look at the forecast with regards to amounts we could see anywhere. And again, most of this will be Sunday and Monday, not just in one day, but possibly three inches of rainfall north of the lake, four to five inches overall south shore. And that would be again over the course of about Saturday, Sunday, Monday, most of it, but also into Tuesday. And some isolated locations could see even more than that. So that would be the more concern for the street flooding threat, which would likely be a little bit more of an issue on uh, Monday as we're expecting greater rain chances. Tomorrow about a 50% as we head into Monday about 80-90%. As we continue on into Tuesday, that rain chance starts to drop off as a lot of the moisture begins moving off to the west. We'll dry out as we head into the middle of the week, but then that little disturbance that could bring in a chance for some showers by Friday, and then we see a drying trend heading into next weekend.